from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. Hey, it's KJ4YZI here with a part two to the FT2DR from Yesu uh, System Fusion Handheld. I'm going to uh, real quick demo the uh, the voice quality on digital, and then uh, we're gonna take a picture, a couple pictures. He's got my FT1D over there with my camera mic, and he's gonna send me a couple pictures. I have it hooked up to my external antenna. I'm a bit far away from the repeater, and we're gonna see the difference between low and high quality and how long it takes to send. So. Uh, K4 CPJ, this is KJ4 YZI uh, testing audio. Go ahead. Your audio is crystal clear. K4 CPJ in Vero. All right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take a picture of your shack there on the setting you're on now. And let's, uh, I think I said you, you think you said you're on high quality first. And go ahead and send it. We're standing by. KJ4 YZI. Okay, gonna take a digital picture and send it along. Stand by K4CBJ. Now you'll see KJ4YZI on there and W4IRC. Uh, the repeater is W4IRC and my call sign is still on my other radio, so he didn't put his call sign in there. That's why you're seeing the KJ4YZI. Now you'll see, you can see right now it's receiving. And there it is, waiting. Now a high quality, let's count. We'll see how long it takes. Um, it's about 30 seconds or so. Uh, but uh, right now it's sent, it's receiving it, and it'll display on the screen a preview, like in a monochrome display, so it's not color. I imagine the next, maybe the FT3R is gonna have a color screen like the FTM400, that would be great. But when you're taking pictures with the speaker mic for this, at least you get an idea of what you're taking a picture of before you send it. And then I'll take these pictures off this card and I'll put them on a computer here in a minute, and you'll see on the, uh, the video here what the quality is like uh, of the picture so we're up about 30 seconds now of course a higher quality picture takes longer than a lower quality picture you can change the resolution or the uh, the uh, high quality or low quality so about 45 seconds now better signal would lead to a better uh, transfer rate. So being that I'm on my vertical outdoors and so is he through the repeater, um, we probably have the best signal back and forth. Uh, if you're maybe in a fringe area, it might have to resend some packets or whatever and, and uh, you know, take a little longer. But uh, Oh boy, it's over a minute now. Waiting, waiting. Okay, you get the little beep and letting you know it's done. There is the picture. And again, it's like a monochrome preview. And you have the option to delete it or save it. it tells you who it's from and the receive date and time. Um, so you'll see it says to all. You also have the ability to send that in a group monitor where you can send it to, uh, to several people at once. I'd imagine. Uh, we're gonna save this. Then it takes another couple of seconds to save to the memory card. Not the fastest in the world, but maybe an improvement in the future. So. Completed, okay. All right, Craig, we got the high quality picture. Can you switch it to uh, low quality and send me another one? Stand by, stand by, K4CPJ. So, I would hope that the next, uh, the next camera mic that they come out with, maybe with the FT3DR, would either have a shutter screen on it, that'd be pretty cool, or, or maybe the FT... All right, I'm in low quality mode, 320 by 180. Tell me when you're ready. And that buzzing is like a ringtone vibrate um, to let you know someone's calling you in your pocket. 
All right, man, go ahead. Standing by on video, KJ4YZI. Now this is lower quality, lower resolution, so this should be a lot faster. And again, after this picture is received, I'm going to put these on the uh, on the computer, and we'll see on color on the monitor what it looks like. There's the receive on digital wide mode. So the picture uses digital wide, um, and then you have uh, voice wide, which is VW. So uh, and then you have data and voice together. So it uses the whole stream of bandwidth, the 12 and 12.5 uh, kilohertz for picture. And then you can have 12.5 kilohertz of voice. And then you can have split 6.25 of voice with 6.25 of data, such as your GPS uh, coordinates being sent with your audio transmission. So uh, it does use the full stream. Now, the in, in retrospect here, the ICOM, they have the ability, which is cool, uh, to send a picture while you're talking. Now, it does go a lot slower as you're talking. But on that same slice of bandwidth, you can send a picture and talk over the top of it. And look how fast that came through. Now, that's uh, lower quality. So we're going to save this. But the difference is with the ICOM, you have to have the tablet, take the picture on the tablet, send it with the tablet connected. It's a little bit, to me, I'm hoping Yaesu one day gets a couple more features put out and a little bit better arrangement. Uh, and it's kind of seamless to take the picture with a color screen on here right from the back of the handheld like a smartphone like an iPhone That'd be cool. That would outdo the having to hook up the $75 cable with the icon to the tablet run the app and do all that but hey uh, everybody's got their own thing so Let me sign off with you here Craig. Let me uh, put these uh, pictures on the computer and Compare the low quality and high quality, but I thank you for being there and uh, 7 3 I'll talk to you later KJ4YZI. Oh, uh, real quick, can you go to analog on this? Yep, go on FM, stand by. Okay, let's go to FM real quick. K4CPK analog on our system fusion repeater. That vibrate. Uh, go ahead and go to FM. All right, KJ4YZI. Yeah, the, the Morse code covered you up, but uh, uh, what do you think of the system fusion so far? Oh, I don't think I'm making it into the repeater, am I? Oh, I don't have the tone. Okay, hold on. Transmit, receive. Uh, let's see, back, signaling, squelch type. I'll turn that tone back. And the tone squelch frequency is 107.2. Okay, now let's try that. KJ4YZI testing. There we go. K4CBJ here. You sound just fine. All right, yeah, I have to say the, um, compared to an old, what is it, MSR2000, the, uh, the um, Yacy repeater is uh, really good on analog. What did you say? Um, we got to get over one day and give my viewers here a uh, video of the repeater site. But what did you say that the DR1 repeater, it was kind of like two radios put together in a case uh, with a screen on the front of it? That's correct. It's uh, two radios side by side with the front color screens taken off and a, and a USB cable coming off the uh, front. And then they go through a little circuit board that Yezu designed and then it uh, transfers out to the color screen of the actual repeater itself. It's nice inside, it's nice and clean, it's got a power supply uh, built into the back, uh, everything inside is real nice, it's, it's a good design. I was uh, happy to see it like that when we uh, took it apart to make sure that everything was uh, uh, you know, screwed in right and tight before we put it into service. Very cool. Well, I wonder if I could send a, I don't know if it's possible, but that'd be cool to be able to send a picture to the uh, repeater. <laughs> if you were working at the site, send a picture right to you and it come up on the front screen there. Because uh, I think you can transmit from it with a microphone as a radio. So, all right, Craig, thanks a lot. Let me shut this video down, show these guys the pictures and uh, end it. 73K4CPJ uh, from KJ4YZI. Hi, Eric. Have a good night. We'll see you sometime this week. K4CBJ Clerks. Alright, let's take a look at these pictures.